Helen Canmock. That's it. Lovely to meet you at the Whitechapel Gallery for your exhibition. Can I just quickly ask you a question? So you spoke to a diverse range of women, you know, hidden female voices. Was there any commonality in the story that you discovered? Just give us an example. I, do you know, I think probably the commonality is about women who want agency, want to take control of their own lives. And they've all had very different moments and very different situations where that's been compromised or they've been stopped from doing it but that's probably the commonality is the is the kind of resilience that the, the women demonstrated alongside this this kind of sense of sadness or longing that they had. And was there any one particular story that moved you more than the others? <laughs> <laughs> I was do you know I was moved by so many stories from the kind of historical stories of you know um, the young 19-year-old Beatrice Chenchi who was beheaded, to uh, a, a nun called Lucrezia Bassano who was stopped from writing and composing because her services with her, her musicians and her choirs were too popular and in the end troops starved them out and the nuns had to kind of submit and they, they didn't make the same kind of music that they once did and she stopped composing and writing. So there are lots of stories like that but then also people that I met directly um, who were who were managing lots of situations that had been difficult and they'd learned from them. So um, Bruna Soncini, who had been working with the ANC, Reggio Emilia was the first European city to, to sign allegiance to uh, the ANC. Um, and, and her sadness, so her lament was about what was happening politically now. And that's the same as a 92-year-old who'd been a partisan fighter just after the Second World War. She knew that there had been fear and things that were really difficult at, in that moment in the kind of late 40s. But the thing that she was saddest about was, was what was happening right now, the politics of the now. So, yeah, I think strength and resilience and also the sadness that is about the future. So worrying and, and, and wanting the future to be strong and good for, for not just women, but for society. So. And just one last question, what does it feel like to be the 2018 Max Mara winner? Well, I mean, I've said it all the way along that it was a complete shock. I wasn't expecting it. I kind of almost didn't see it when it happened. But uh, it's enabled me to, to really be able to say I'm an artist and this is what I do and this is what I want to do. Um, yeah, it's, it was an amazing opportunity and to be able to have a solo show in an institution as well is incredible. Helen Camwell, thank you so much for talking to Alt Africa. Thank you. Thank you.